Okay, welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? I'm going to do another whip and chat here. I'll move this up a kitten. Okay, here we go. Alright, so Craftably's Midnight Warrior by Sarah Burrier. Uh, 20 inches by 28 inches round drill. 62 colors in total, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. And I'm fighting with one of the drill bags. And two rhinestones or crystals. I'll just call them rhinestones because I had enough of a problem remembering what they were at the beginning of this uh, canvas. Uh, they're silver bottom drills with... Uh, translucent uh, faceted uh, top so yeah there we go there faceted <laughs> always blank out at the very beginning all right so I've been talking about these high fantasy and books that I'm reading or whatever all right I'll show you a couple of these covers I mentioned it the art all right so this is Terry Goodkind, what the first book of the Sword of Truth. This is a really terrible angle to be able to show it. All right, so Terry Goodkind, it's a forest. It's the start of the quest. Just really nature oriented. Wizard's first rule. It's my phone stand. Just really cool art. This is okay. I'm pretty sure it's like a different artist. Uh, we'll just give credit to... Yeah, the Sword of Truth. Okay, that's what this is called. Yeah, Sword of Truth. The... Alright, there's credits here. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Hard cover, first edition. Wizard's first rule. Yeah, Tor is the publisher. Where is the art credit for the cover? Ah, cover art by Keith Parkinson. Okay, and the pictures, oh, just a segment of the pictures on the spine. So, Terry Goodkind. This is what I'm heading into after uh, Dragonfly and Amber. So I'm right at the end there. Okay, that's the first book in the Sword of Truth. All right, this is the picture I really like. Okay, so the second book in the Sword of Truth, Stone of Tears. And yeah, I don't know. People's opinions might differ, but yeah, there's like the depth. Like this is a picture you could like walk into. There's the spine. Yeah. Yeah, Tor Publishing still. Yeah, Stone of Tears. Okay. Uh I will give you uh, do, 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 do. just oh will this be on the back ah Keith Parkinson again okay cool this is a really cool artist so there you go So yeah, those are the pictures I'm talking about. I haven't seen the covers of the other books, but I don't know if the same artist will be throughout the books. But yeah, that's the Sword of Truth series, and that was the second book that I showed you. So I won't read those back to back. So I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. So. All rights reserved. That art's not mine. Just showing the book cover. 
and that was Keith Parkinson for the both covers so credit to him good job <laughs> this art has been on those books ever since they first released because the that wizard's first rule I think is the first uh, release cover release uh, tells you at this uh, from the book 1995 Stone of Tears first published first edition this might be August 1996 and this one was printed yeah copyright for the story Mm. That might be a 1996 re-release, like, yeah, reprint. I'm not sure how that works, but yeah, there you go. I just wanted to show you those covers. Just so you're like, what the heck is this guy talking about? Yeah, this isn't Reading Rainbow. Sorry, I just wanted to show book covers. You don't have to read Hide Fantasy if you don't want to. It's okay. <laughs> I just love the artwork on uh, Stone of Tears. Like, that is screaming to be like a framed uh, poster or something. Framed picture. Alright, I'm just working on this brown here. Getting back to diamond painting. Spent like the first like five minutes <laughs> looking at book covers for a diamond painting color uh, channel. <laughs> mm. Sorry, this isn't turning into Reading Rainbow, I, I promise. All rates reserved for that. I just said the names, sorry. <laughs> but I haven't read them, so I can tell you, I'm just showing you the front cover and telling you who the artist is. All credit to them, period. Yep, there you go. All right, so, yeah, just still working on this section. Very intricate. Very many different colors and shading. You definitely get light and dark um, comparison on this mask alone. Oh, excuse me. And the section like just below this was the shading of her body and uh, the bottom half of her face. So this is very intricate, light and dark. Even though it's like a scene with like a moon behind it. Yeah, you just get light and dark. And stark comparison on this canvas. So, yeah, I kind of like that light and shadow. Yeah, these high fantasy books are not a snack. They're epic. The beauty of those is like even the Outlander, they're they're huge tomes. They're really thick tomes. But you get a nice well paced story in some people's opinions, but it sometimes parts can drag but I don't know that's when you get like a uh, character dialogue and world building in the high fantasy I never knew the term high fantasy existed until like a week or so ago because I had like looked it up I was looking for the title of that stone of tears for my sister-in-law that was a gift, that Stone of Tears. Just like, did I get you the right book? Yeah, yes, you did. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> I won't dive right into it. I had to get through Wizard's first rule, but should be pretty cool. Yeah, there's a short of Sword of Shannara series too. 
Yeah. <laughs> can just jump all over the place. I've read mixed reviews about the series. It there's like a trilogy, and then I think there are books that just came after the events of that trilogy. Yeah, they're saying it's the Lord of the Rings ripoff. But I don't mind Lord of the Rings. Like, I still have to read Two Towers and uh, Return of the King. But I don't. It's still fantasy. It's still probably high fantasy. A genre which I'm stuck on. But I still have the... Yeah, Outlander, time travel, romance, historical romance, and, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that space opera, uh, series, uh, The Expanse, I'm still into that. So that's futuristic sci-fi. Yeah, I like the big epic tales. Then an ongoing story mystery would be uh, J.D. Robb's uh, In Death series. I picked up, like, uh, I think her newest published piece, which made it to paperback. Another one of her In Death books, so Desperation and Death or something, I think. I just peruse the grocery store shelf. Or look in a bookstore every once in a while for... I usually end up getting a, like a hardcover copy of when the her newest books come out. It's Nora Roberts' uh, pen name in other words. <sighs> Excuse me. But, yeah. I do like the In-Depth series. There is mature content in Outlander series and... Uh these in-depth books. I knew that going in, but yeah, it's not like 60 pages of just mushy, constant cuddling, aggressive cuddling. Nah. That there is a story in between, but yeah, for people like that romance kind of stuff. I kind of like the history and the time travel. Part of Outlander. So, I hope by the end of Dragonfly and Amber, the beginning of that book will make sense. I am like right near the end, so yeah. At the start of that, I was like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> confused but yep yeah, I was told just to read it for what the book is and it'll make sense in the end okie dokie fair enough yep so I just took that advice so yeah every once in a while I talk about books just randomly on here because I do that for walking challenges so yeah but think I'm going to turn in this into reading rainbow second gen or whatever so that's okay <laughs> yeah high fantasy is probably a lot for some people so yeah it's very high detail dragged out adventure story I think some people just want something cool and interesting that won't take a month or so to read I don't read very fast, per se, but if I have like an hour or so on the treadmill, that's, I can get a good couple chapters through a, a book. And these chapters are usually fairly long in these high fantasy books, I've noticed. Outlander as well, so. I don't mind. You still have story you're they're just telling a story and then usually it's an event 
major plot event or very intricate scene with uh, different characters and a conversation between various characters and you read through that and usually there's something that happens near the end of the chapter or whatever to kind of move things along so and there's interludes where the point of view of a character shifts because uh, Outlander is uh, main character driven by Claire Randall who travels back in time 200 years from 1945 I believe to 1700 kind of thing yeah to old Scotland or whatever so yeah Oh well, so there you go. Uh, Wizard's first rule. Don't know too much about it, but I think there's like two co core characters, and I think they have different goals, but it's a common thread between the two. So yeah, and I think the main character uh, grows, like ages, throughout the books. I'm already kind of seeing a progression of the male lead. He has like a facial hair in like the second uh, cover. So maybe he ages a bit. As far as I know, he's human. So <laughs> so's the woman with him. So yeah, I don't want to give too much away of those books. So yeah, that's why I'm fairly general when it comes to describing what I'm reading. Yeah, they're early 90s books, but I was way too young. I was maybe like 5 when those came out, <laughs> or 10. <laughs> 85, 95, yeah, 10. Yeah, that, I'm going to like open that book and yeah, know what's going on. <laughs> Like, mommy, what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing in this book? Blood, <laughs> chopping people's heads off. <laughs> it's like, that's Outlander. <laughs> Couple scenes, yeah. And aren't exactly giving out hugs on every page, so yikes. <laughs> yeah, from pieces I've read of Game of Thrones yeah there's way more gore in that or really mature violence content in those pages I think somebody put posted note marks where somebody dies and there were quite a few <laughs> there's like four or five different families or something or groups of people guilds or oh you know, it's just and these people are going everywhere kind of like the scope of game of thrones but yeah i'm afraid to touch the tv show so i'm probably not just try reading the books again i have started game of thrones like the first book like two or three times now I probably got like five or six chapters in and just had the bookmark in and just pulled it out one day and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna read something else. Yeah, really. Because <laughs> I was just trying to sit down in a chair and read it a few years ago before all this walking challenge stuff. But now with this walking challenge stuff, I've finished four or five books like this year alone. So yeah, so that's good. So there's just some intricate way that my brain's wired to focus 
if I'm doing something else and I'm not thinking about something else, I'm in one place, kind of, like, stationary. So I can focus on the book. That's probably what it is. So, I don't know, just a theory, but, yeah. Okay, 31. All right, I got a new post-it uh, note indicator. Yeah, this orange thing. The other one was practically falling off the sticker sheet, so. 31. Yeah, so if you don't read high fantasy, you'll hear me talking about probably a Sword of Truth or The Expanse or Outlander a lot on here. Yeah, so. <laughs> you'll hear me talking about books every now and then, but it'll be very vague. Yeah, I don't want to ruin a book for anybody, so I don't want to ruin any series. Just tell you what I'm reading, so that's... Yeah, I'll just keep it vague, so yeah. <laughs> don't have to read anything I'm suggesting, I'm just, yeah. Just something to talk about for a whip, or whip and chat every once in a while. So, yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, so if there's like another space hopper out there. Yeah, I have Dune, so I don't think that's kind of space hopper. There are different planets or something, so. Yeah, I have like a chunk of that, so I could get into that too. So I, I just want to keep reading, like have something to keep reading. Kind of like uh, buying diamond paintings. It's like, oh, that canvas is really cool, brand new. Ooh, everybody's on it. And then the other ones you're interested in are just kind of sitting there going, um, hi. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it happens for sure. Okay, 31. These triple triangular dots here on the mask and let's fill this in so yeah hopefully you're having a good day and your crafting and hobbies are going well if you do like reading that's awesome as well uh, not planning to start a book group or club or anything nah, I just I just read out my own pace I couldn't do that kind of thing <laughs> Just the work schedule and the way I read. There are days where I don't read because I don't go on the treadmill because I have to, because I'm at work for 12 hours and then come home and I usually just, yeah, I want to relax because I usually have to go back to work. So, yeah, I, I don't read every day per se, but. I do take a couple days off. I do kind of miss it when I am not reading because you do get used to reading. <laughs> I read for like over an hour. I'm on the treadmill, like sometimes spread out because of the dishwasher, waiting for the dishwasher situation. But as I've probably mentioned a couple times before, but. Yeah, I can handle just like finishing a page and then if it's like in the middle of a situation or a chapter, I just put the bookmark back in and just reread the top of the left hand page, even if I've probably read it before, just to kind of dive back into the book. So, yeah, <laughs> I think the print in Stone of Tears here is really small. Uh, I do say that's 12 point font. It seems smaller when I first open it. Okay, instead of diamond painting, we're going to read through this. <laughs> no! No! 
<laughs> just open a page and start reading. <laughs> What's going on? Who is that? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Read something else. <laughs> so sorry. Just kidding. Didn't mean to scare you. So sorry. Okay. I wonder what like reading an audio, like reading for an audio book would be like. You... Would you, like, read huge chunks of a book, like a chapter at a time or something? Like, yeah. <laughs> Boy, I always wondered about that. Like, I'd probably have the patience to do that kind of thing. Sit and, like, audibly read a book. Be interesting. I don't know if you can do it from like home and then just send the recorded stuff to publisher or whatever. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> or do you send it and sit in like a sound studio and just record yourself reading at probably various recordings to do and do that kind of thing? I don't know, kind of curious. <laughs> yeah, can you read this like 1,000 page book for uh, an audio book? Okay, thanks. When done by Tuesday. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't, I probably won't do like voice act or anything, but uh, just read it for what it is with enthusiasm. Yeah, I had trouble reading when I was uh, in grade one. I just struggled with it. It frustrated me and then I just took a breath. Yeah, I think I repeated grade one for math or I was falling behind. It's when my like uh, learning difficulty came to light. Central processing disorder. It's where I was kind of diagnosed with a learning difficulty. They call it disability. All those years back, but ah, it's it still lingers. Like central processing, memory recall issue. I work with it. It's just visual cues and stuff to kind of keep me on track, jog my memory kind of thing, doing stuff repetitively, visually, interacting with it, touching, right? just being involved with it. So yeah, probably why I like reading because it's highly visual. So, yeah, and I have a way to now focus on reading the book while still accomplishing my uh, walking challenge, uh, distance stuff, so I kind of like that I'm like still doing something, yet I'm doing something that is enjoyable as well in some regards. <laughs> But anyway, you've been watching uh, Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Yeah, I did get some diamond painting in here. Even though I showed the book cover. <laughs> Those two book covers for like a few minutes there. <laughs> but yeah, it, just mentioning like book covers. Oh, this art is so cool. And then not showing it. Yeah, that just felt kind of wrong. So credit to the artist. Credit to Tor for publishing uh, Terry Goodkind's uh, material should be a couple awesome reads well I still have the wheel of time as well that's Robert Jordan so but fantasy genre as well it these books will be a journey so to 
various different worlds, and it should be really cool. Yep. Partially escapism, too, so. Yep, so down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile page, Michael's Color Facebook business page. It's really just a website within Facebook. That's all it is. And my Instagram, all three, I just try to update simultaneously uh, with like a progress photo of like this section, for example. If I finish this section, then I'll post picture of the said section. Uh, the Diamond Painting Company, craftably. Uh, the title of the piece, Midnight Warrior. Yeah, Midnight Warrior. Sarah Burrier. And yeah, on to the next section. Maybe like a brief comment. Hey, this section was really cool. Now on to the next one kind of thing. Very, like a 40 to 50 second read. And then life goes on. So, I'm on social media, but it's not like, I am drinking a cup of coffee right now. Yeah, not that kind of stuff. So yeah, just diamond painting really. So, and I share photography, like photographers' uh, work that they posted on social media. I share some of those photos of assorted photographers on my personal Facebook. Yeah, because yeah, landscape and or it's a really cool animal or something. But yeah, I also post a couple walking challenge website links. Uh, Conquer for Lord of the Rings, five parts. I'm on part four. I have Sauron, a thousand and something kilometers. Hence the treadmill and reading. That's where that ties in. It's just on the side. And Pacer is Silk Road. Uh, trading routes interconnected. Uh, used 700 BC kind of thing. For in Asia to trade goods like silks and stuff so other than that take care all the best happy new year or happy new year's eve depending where when you're watching this but yeah other than that i'll get this uploaded and uh see you again soon bye